five overs into India's second innings, Sri Lankan players, Zuru and Galakmal in particular, were once again seen in strife. Delhi's notorious smog, which may rob the Indian capital of future winter tests, continued to plague the visiting Sri Lankan team on day four of the third and final test on Tuesday. Some members of the Sri Lankan cricket team once again wore pollution masks as India's second innings got underway at the Feroz Shah Kotla. Play had to be stopped on three occasions on Sunday during India's first innings as the Sri Lankan team, wearing pollution masks, complained of breathing problems. And five overs into the second innings, Sri Lankan players, Zura and Galakmal in particular, were once again seen in strife. Lakmal fielding at third man had to be attended to by the physio as play was briefly interrupted. He vomited on the field and was taken off with Dasan Shainaka, wearing a mask, coming on as the substitute fielder. Captain of Sri Lanka Dinesh Chandamal, who scored a brilliant 164, didn't wear a mask while batting but was seen wearing one as soon as he took the field. The only Sri Lankan player who seemed to not have any problem with the pollution was wicketkeeper Nirashan Dikwela. Like in the first innings, Dikwela didn't wear a mask in India's second innings. Another point of note was that both on-field umpires, Nigel Long, England, Joel Wilson, Trinidad and Tobago, not once wore a mask on any day of the third test. The Indian team too decided against wearing pollution masks when it took the field on day three. Meanwhile, the BCCI on Monday said scheduling of matches in pollution Maya Delhi will be considered in future. Scheduling of matches in Delhi during this time of the year will be considered, BCCI Acting Secretary Amitabh Chaudhary told reporters at the end of the third day's play here when questions were raised about Delhi's viability as a venue given the rising pollution levels. However, Chaudhary said Sri Lanka cricket had not raised any such concerns when the itinerary was decided. If Sri Lanka cricket had concerns regarding scheduling, they didn't express them to us, he added. There was high drama at the stadium on Sunday when Sri Lankan players' refusal to take the field forced an animated Kohli to declare at 536 for 7. Sri Lankan interim coach Nick Pothers had later claimed that match referee David Boone had seen Zuran Galakmal and Dhananjada Silva vomiting when he paid a visit to the team's dressing room.